you know, just the, the rest of this draft really quickly. Um, Charlotte, Drew. Well, there's a, okay, there's, there's, a, there's actually a lot that I want to talk about on the draft. So um, we should talk about, so let's see, let's go through the, I mean, the people who stayed on the same brand, I'm not even going to worry about, they're on the same brand. Okay, so SmackDown got Aaliyah, and I don't know, um, you know, she didn't, she was nothing in in, in uh, NXT. I it's, it's it's just a name. Drew Gulak, who we, we've been through Drew Gulak for years. And you know, these with, ones were the on, on Talking Smack, right? Right, right. Well, like, I, I have a whole, I have a, I have a whole bunch. So then, um, what else? Um, hold on. Um, uh, Mace, um, Mustafa Ali, Mansoor. Uh, those are just mid middle level guys that are switching over. Not any big deal. I don't think there's any big story. So Charlotte Flair. So my presumption is is that that means that Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins go to Raw. Um, yes. And I I kind of figured that um, Biggie would need like new challengers and Seth Rollins kind of fits. And then Edge went over to Raw too. Yes. So it kind of feels like okay, you got Edge over there. Seth Rollins goes over there again, and then um um you know. Becky, because the Charlotte thing, you know, I don't think they want Charlotte and Becky on the same brand right now. And also, you know, they when they do the champions, when they have the champions move, it's usually the other champion moves, too. So um, and then Bianca move too, Bianca Belair. Are they just going to switch but trade belts? God, it's, isn't that the lamest thing? They did that with the SmackDown belts last year, the tag team, the tag team, Ron SmackDown tag team, which let me get into that as well. So um, you had that and then you had... Um, who else was there? Drew McIntyre, which we kind of figured. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Drew McIntyre himself pretty much figured that. No one told you, but you could see so coming. So New Day surprised me because I thought that, you know, with Big E going to Raw, you would keep the group together. So obviously by moving the group, what it tells me is they really don't want Big E with those other two guys with the idea that it will hold him back and i so completely disagree with that i think that he brings the other two guys up so i think this like you know new day will oh you know xavier and kofi will always be fine um and they'll always be in that position and that's good i think with new day on smackdown that the um street profits end up back on raw so um you know whatever and then um yeah hit row on smackdown which did you see some of the, the the Twitter stuff? It was kind of interesting with um, AJ Francis, which is top dollar, where people are just like, oh, now, you know, like like the, the WWE fans are going to him, like, oh, now, now it's like now you're out of NXT. It's terrible. And he's going, well, the difference between us and everybody who failed is that we can promo. And it's like and he shouldn't have opened his mouth because then it's just like, he's, you know, all these other guys that went a lot of them could promo too that that didn't go anywhere. But yeah, you know, but there you go. And then um um, who's the other one that uh, that they uh, Jeff Hardy? Um, yeah, okay, Jeff well, Hardy. I mean, he 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 went he went to SmackDown and immediately got scared away by Brock. That was his first his debut segment. And uh, didn't I didn't that know. didn't that look terrible for Jeff Hardy? Why even put him in that position? I, I mean, why <laughs> why do that to him? I mean, it's like you could just have Brock come out. You didn't need to have him make Jeff Hardy back away and make him look like a pussy baby face. That was like, why would you do that? But but they did. Okay, so Raw probably Bianca, because he they probably feel that he's a he's he's kind of Teflon with that fan base. He just gets cheered no matter what. He'll always be over, and it's a way to get Brock over. But Brock will always be over too because Brock's got that physical charisma. Okay, so Raw got Bel Air Edge. Um, who else did they get? Um, Ray and Dominic. Ray and Dominic. And, and Ray, was Ray hurt tonight or something? He could be because um, in Puerto Rico. Why, why did you say that? I saw a note. It may have been from maybe from Sean Rossap. He mentioned uh, maybe in his select, uh, his Patreon, something about Ray was supposed to face Roman in Puerto Rico and then it didn't happen. Um. Well, uh, Ray did not wrestle in Puerto Rico and he was supposed to be on the car in Puerto Rico. Yes. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll ask. Yeah, I was wondering because Dominic was there and Dominic did a singles match with Jinder Mahal, which sounds like a really weird match, but they did it. Here, here's the actual wording. I just found it. Uh, Ray was sidelined as of Friday night for an undisclosed medical reason and would no longer be able to f- perform at the Saturday Night Live event where he was scheduled to face 
Roman Reigns. That okay. Was the, that was how he wrote it. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, he was not on the card and he was advertised to be on the card. So that makes sense. Um, so let's see. Who else did they, who else did Raw get? Uh, uh, Alpha Academy. Yeah. Otis and Chad, which, you know, again, that's, that's fine. I mean, Chad, it's not, Chad was awesome in that tag team match. Chad's always awesome. You know, he's, he's, he's always awesome. And a lot of people, um, I know a lot of his friends wanted him to go to AEW and, um, I don't know what the contract situation is for him, but, um, he's, he, you know, it's like, he's been so, um, what's the word I'm looking for? So, um, misused is that the word or buried or whatever that it's almost like you know you you bring him in and it's like you're bringing in like i don't know i mean i i, I think that he'd be absolutely phenomenal in AEW, but um and he's he's phenomenal now um apollo cruz and commander aziz go to yeah Rome. that makes that makes sense i could see um let me see um did they uh they haven't done anything with Priest and Nakamura. Like I was thinking maybe Priest and Nakamura switch and then you have Aziz or Aziz could go in there and 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 uh with Cruz and and um you know whatever. Um yeah, and then uh Zelina Vega which is whatever. That's like a you know that's not a major thing. I mean really the um Bel Air and Edge and Charlotte Flair and Drew. Okay, but what about this which is they do that draft on Friday, and they basically move um, eight players for, for each. And so it looks like, okay, well, these are the people you should pay attention to. John Morrison gets drafted with all the mid-carters on the Talking Smack thing. Yeah, but they don't do anything with John Morrison. I mean, but when Miz comes back, he and Miz are going to be on TV and, you know, every week. Are they going to feud? I, I don't know. I thought they just blew that feud off and then they're on their way. And since the since you know they they're not they're doing nothing with John Morrison. I mean, again like in a couple months they may, who knows? But right now they're doing nothing with him and they're they're making their choices based on who they're doing something with at this moment. And at this moment John Morrison's nobody. So he's on, you know, yeah, he was drafted or whatever, not drafted. He was picked on with the, with the nobodies cuz that's where he's at right now. I mean, I get it, but it's like the picks right before him are Dewdrop, Drake Maverick. Right behind him, it's Naya and it's Reggie. Like he's in that mix right now. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sad. He's that's, so talented. Yeah, that's so sad. Well, he's another example of of a guy. You know, he's super talented, but it's like that's not their that's not their style. You know, um, maybe at some point, you know, um, and I mean, you know, the the thing is, is like Levesque sort of realized it, but it's like because it didn't work for Levesque, it's kind of like that, you know, probably makes like Vince and Kevin Dunn and those guys, Pritchard, go in there and go, look, you know, they tried with these guys and they got they got their ass kicked. And so, you know, that shows that that stuff doesn't work, even though that's the stuff that's, you know. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work. Working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.